Hey, thanks for watching. Shane Fozard here. So there has been a brand new uh, development that has uh, been released for FlowWith. So flowwith.net. It's a fairly new platform, at least uh, that's shown up on my radar. And it's got a brand new infinite agent called Neo. It has a very um, matrix feel. And so in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can use FlowWith to use uh, a number of different cutting edge LLMs, AI systems, and then compare them to see which one gave you the best result. Now, this is not necessarily new, but the functionality and the, the user interface and the user experience here with Flowith is, is super compelling. So as you can see on the screen here, I entered in a prompt that said, give me a list of the top 50 most visually iconic movie posters, such as Back to the Future, E.T., Top Gun, Star Wars, etc., and explain the concept of the poster's visuals for each listed movie. Now, what I also did is I set this up to test it across a, a function that was called compare, create a list. If we click on agent mode, we turn it off agent mode. And then we click down here and we go to comparison. So we click on comparison, we can then choose all the different models that we want to compare it against. So GPT 4.1, DeepSeek, Claude, Gemini, Grok. They're pretty much all in there. Claude, all the latest ones, most of the latest ones are in there. And so you can just click and, and compare a whole bunch of them and then put your, your, your prompt in there and then hit start and it's going to compare that for you. Now the one of the interesting things about FlowWith is that it kind of creates, it creates these branches. So we can see here's Grok 3, Gemini 2.5 Flash, Claude 4 Sonnet, GPT 4.1, and we can start to see the results that it gave. So Back to the Future, Jaws, Star Wars, what are the top three? Back to the Future, E.T., Top Gun, pretty iconic, Star Wars. I wonder if it was influenced by my direction, my prompt. Jaws, Star Wars, E.T., uh, Back to the Future, Pulp Fiction, Godfather, Casablanca. I can't remember the Casablanca. Actually, I think I can now. Um, and then we've got Flash, uh, Gemini. So what have we got here? That's all the explanation. And then it gets down here. So Star Wars, E.T., Back to the Future, Jaws, Psycho, Godfather, Pulp Fiction, Jurassic Park. That's pretty iconic. Raiders of the Lost Ark. What else have we got here? So this is Grok. Star Wars, Back to the Future, E.T., Top Gun, Jaws, Jurassic Park, Godfather. So you can see, I mean, they're very similar, but this is the interesting thing, is you can then decide which one is going to give you the best result. Now, here's where I took it to a whole nother level. Let's go over here. I set up a new prompt, and this time, this is going to, this is basically where Flowith is a gamma killer. And now gamma... It's gamma.app, I believe it is, or gamma.ai. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, basically it's like a, an AI-generated um, PowerPoint presentator, presentation creator. Um, it's always been a little bit clunky. Um, maybe it's just me and I haven't used it effectively yet, perhaps. I mean, you know, it's like using a hammer upside down. You're going to not be able to use it correctly, so maybe it's me. Um, but I'll play with it enough to go, you know what, it's, it's just not getting me the results I want. This has been really impressive. Now, I just ran this just a few minutes ago, and I haven't even seen the results. So I'm going to be revealing this live, so you're going to get a real response from me here. Um, this is not premeditated in any way. So I put this in here, make a digital slide deck presentation uh, list of the top 25. I just thought I'd shorten it down to 25. And include a description of the poster's visuals for each movie listed, and a copy of the actual image of the movie. Now, for this, I actually took this off from the comparison, and this time I used Agent, which is their infinite agent called Neo. So this is using Neo, and so think of it as it's an agentic model, I believe. And again, I may not be using the terminology 100% correctly, but this is what I think it is. Um, you know, one of the things I do is I just know how to get the results. I may not use the correct terminology, but I think that's what it is. And so you give it this, this uh, prompt, and then it will do many different things uh, simultaneously often. So you can see here, it's got this wide sort of structure. 
So it's like, okay, um, Agent Neo is, this is the what it's going to interpret it as. Here's its key findings. Here's a summary. I won't go through all the detail because that's not the really interesting part. I mean, you can look at it if you want to. Then we'll go down here. What's the next thing it says? So you can see here, analyze the research findings from the initial online, whatever it is. And so now it's like here are the top 25. Now we can look at this if we want to. So Jaws, Star Wars, E.T., Back to the Future, Godfather. And that's what's showing up now. You can just zoom in, zoom out if we want. We can go all the way to the bottom. What's number 25? And so then what it does is it shows, okay, what are the top, extract all top 25 movie titles and they're corresponding. Now let's have a look at what this is. So this puts it into a JSON uh, format. I think it's JSON format. Um, so we've got it all there. We could use that in other places if we want to. And then it's like extract a specific image search queries. So it's pulling out the image. Now I think this is probably going to be JSON again. So, yep. So these are not really interesting, but here's where it gets interesting. So it has gone and found the first 13 iconic movies. So here we go. We've got these movie posters here. Look at that. I haven't seen any other platform being able to do this. How cool is that? that all right, then what else? Extract the specific image search queries. We won't worry about that. Here we've got the remaining ones. So, you know, what else have we got here? Metropolis. Not something I'm overly familiar with, apart from the remake. Scarface, great movie. Apocalypse Now, yep, the thing. So, here we go. Yeah, I know this one, but I think I think that's the, the movie post that I remember. Clockwork Orange. This one, not overly familiar with that one. Rosemary's Baby, yep. I'm not overly familiar with that one. Full Metal Jacket, Top Gun. So there's a few in there. Now what else? Now here's the cool thing. <clears throat> we wanted, What did we ask it? We asked it for a slide deck, slide deck presentation. That's really the output. It's like, I wanted to see, did you give me the output? And here it is. So let's, here's a cool thing here. Now, I can hit full screen or we can open a new tab. Let's, now if I open a new tab, Here we go. This is now a presentation that I can send to someone straight away. So this is like 10 minutes, 10 minutes from idea to presentation. Now, obviously, it's lacking a little bit of the finesse of where's the headline to introduce this. But I didn't ex specifically ask that. But here we go. We've got Jaws, Star Wars, a little bit buggy, but can't complain too much for 10 minutes of effort. And I won't get going through it, but pretty impressive stuff. And there we're finished. Now there's a few buttons here. So because it's missing that headline, I can say, okay, now can you add a headline to this? There's a refine button here as well. Um, you can edit it if you want to. Uh, you can download the whole thing. So you can download the code and host it yourself or adjust it yourself or put it into cursor. And so this is flow with. It is super powerful. Uh, you need to get your head around knowledge gardens. Knowledge, knowledge gardens are huge as well, um, but I'll leave that for another video. Um, so thanks for watching. If you like this video and you like the content, like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.